I want to start by asking uh, Piyush Goel first whether you think the BJP is emerging or has already emerged as the new pole of Indian politics. Do you think BJP is the new Congress? The central pole of Indian politics today is clearly the BJP and you've heard all the opposition parties clamoring to try and come together and oppose the BJP, which is good news for us. Mr. Chavan, you know, you can quibble with the BJP that they're not in Kerala or Tamil Nadu, but these are small quibbles. The fact is that at the rate at which they're going, they are more likely to be in the states than the Congress ever would be. Does the Congress even begin to realize the enormity of the mess that it's in? Uh, let's not forget that in May 2014 Lok Sabha election, BJP only got 31% votes. The 70% people still don't want BJP. BJP has perfected their technique of unique elections. They've used all means, no holds barred elections. We've seen in Maharashtra the way municipal elections were fought. Uh, it's a election winning machine without a doubt. But what worries me is what is the direction of polity they are going in. Are we uh, no, seeing... If theirs is an election winning machine, is yours an election losing machine? Well, I think Congress party collectively has to be responsible. If there is a leader, there are uh, some local leadership at state level thing, all of us are responsible. No, How because Mani Shankar Iyer has given an interview to India today where he says Rahul should maybe consider making way for somebody else. That Rahul Gandhi simply doesn't have what it takes to take on Modi and Shah. He should let somebody else do the job. Well, Rahul Gandhi has said there will be restructuring. Now, what level the restructuring? No, he said there will be restructuring in 2012, he said it 2014. Now, let's wait for him. I don't mean to be disrespectful at all, but it will probably help them introspect a little bit and. Uh, uh, hopefully the Rahul Gandhi leadership will continue for a few more years. You would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and just to help him understand this in a management lexicon, the new management philosophy is the word VUCA. It stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. Now that's the complexity that the world is facing today. And that's what the management uh, uh, business schools teach us and I think in some sense it happens to every organization it happens to nations Tell me, Piyush, I'm and in curious. some sense probably that's what they will have to address that's the challenge that they will have to look at Mr. Chavan uh, when we started out you said that you were worried about the direction in which India is going under Modi you said okay you're also concerned about the crisis that faces the Congress but you're saying you're concerned about the direction in which India is going under Modi do you want to elaborate on that well I think uh, in a any democratic society uh, the decision making is a collective exercise includes exercise now I'm afraid that in under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi the collective decision making is disappearing even we talked about demonetization was it a collectively taken decision the people of india have voted for prime minister modi they believe in him they trust his leadership and they believe here is a leader who's working selflessly for a new india for a better india when we so, start piyush one second piyush you think corruption is ended well, as long as there are people in the Congress party still in the country, I don't think we can end corruption so fast. We're not ruling. We're not ruling anymore. <laughs> BJP excluded Muslims from the political process in UP. Not even one seat was given out of 403 in a state where about 19% people are Muslim. Not only UP, but in none of the five states, BJP faced a single Muslim candidate. We stand for a better future for the Muslims of this country as we stand for a better future for all Indians. Okay. We don't segregate a Hindu or a Muslim. So, Let them join the mainstream. Let them not be fearful. Two and a half years we've been in the government at the center. There has been no problem for any section of society.